Hey, go home, it's late. You know the boss isn't here to see you working on that, right? Oh yeah, I understand that. Touche, I know, I need to leave too. I just wanted to get a couple more things done. Okay, alright, I get it. Pot, kettle, yada yada. <laughs> but seriously, don't stay too late. I, for one, plan to finish this part up and then go home and crash. Right after I answer more work emails, because I can't seem to stop myself from doing that even when I'm home. I know, right? I'm a cog in the machine, and I embrace my fate wholeheartedly. Hmm? No, no plans tonight. You? I'm kind of surprised. No, it's just... Weren't you seeing that hygienist from the dental office over... Yeah, you told me about her last time we had lunch. Over at that bistro with the really addictive bread. Oh, sorry to hear that. I didn't realize. I guess you and I haven't had a chance to talk much lately. Yep. I've been too busy for the water cooler chats, and you've been working through lunches on that account. We need to catch up one of these days. Yeah, we definitely will. We should go to lunch soon. Get you out of the office for once. Talk about all the great things going on in our lives. Only, I don't have much news to share, sadly. Nope. No interesting dates, no fun stories, nothing of value. I'm a poor contributor to conversation lately. Oh, but my cat did something funny the other day. I may or may not share that story if I have nothing else to talk about. Yeah, that's the height of interest my life has had lately. Wow, that's sad now that I think about it. <laughs> no, it is, but that's okay. I fully intend to pick up some new hobbies and maybe even go on a few dates once this project is done. Absolutely, I've decided. I'll be so interesting and social you won't even believe it's me. Well, yeah, because that's so not me. <laughs> I know, introverts unite. But I will do more stuff, I swear. I will. I've been wanting to sketch more. Maybe take a pad out to the park and draw what I see, you know? Yeah? Why didn't I know that? You're holding out on me. Yes, huh? I'd love to see something you've done sometime. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. You're probably really talented. You always have a way of downplaying your skills. It was almost annoying until I realized you aren't doing it on purpose. Whatever, you don't have to show me. Maybe you can sketch me something on a cocktail napkin sometime instead. Yeah. And in the meantime, I'll work on getting out more. I think it's past time for that. I mean, I've been here, what, a year and a half now? And in that time, I will be the first to admit I have not made time for myself. It's way too easy to get caught up in these projects. But that's going to change. Definitely. So what about this weekend? Any plans? That sounds fun, actually. Your parents always sound like interesting people when you talk about them. Oh, I bet. Mine are fairly sedate, but you know that. You were forced into that lunch with Mom that time we ran into her. It was nice of you to indulge her, by the way. She still talks about how much she likes you. Of course she does. I'm sure most people like you. Well, yeah. Not me, though. Nope. Not at all. I know the real you, you see. Oh, yes. I do. After all this time, I've broken through the facade. I know who you really are underneath. Indeed. For example, you are the one who ties up the printer too much. Oh, seriously? I see those massive documents coming through. I see whose name is on them. Yes, I do. And you also eat the candy on my desk when you don't think I'm looking. But I know. I know it's you sneaking around. I hear your fingers in the dish and then you're gone. But it's still you. 
You are a troublemaker. What do you mean? I'm nothing of the sort. I'm everything that's pure and good. I do not. Okay, well, I did that one time, but there were extenuating circumstances. Mm Mm-hmm. You can't judge me for that. What else? How else am I a troublemaker? (gasps) That wasn't me. That was Patty. Look at you, accusing me of things I didn't even do. How sad. (laughs) Tell you what. We're both troublemakers. We're both troubled, even. Maybe that's why we work here. Or maybe working here made us troubled. This is a vortex of suck sometimes, after all. Yep, you get me. But at least we have each other, so to speak. You know what I meant. Just, whatever. You know you keep me sane when you're not doing your best to drive me crazy. Yeah, you do. You're a port in a storm, believe it or not. It's nice knowing I can talk to you when something makes me want to pull my hair out. Really, that's good. I'm glad. I'd hate to think this was all one-sided. No, I know. I'm always happy to hear your complaints about this or that. Well, maybe happy is the wrong word, but... Sympathetic, let's say. Yes, I am a sympathetic ear, the best listener in the office, and I always give great advice. Okay, that wasn't the best advice, but you can't deny that burning the place down would solve a lot of problems. (laughs) Shut up, Goober. Your advice is never any better. What? Why not? Of course I can call you Goober. Where's the rule that says I can't? (laughs) Ha, you figure? I don't think HR would take you seriously. They know we're friends. Nope. Sorry, you don't have a leg to stand on. I get to call you Goober. Take it as a compliment. I only call you that because we're friends. If we weren't friends, I'd just call you... Hmm. Probably Hey You or something. Would I even bother to learn your name? Maybe not. Guess we'll never know, though. But for what it's worth, I'm glad we're friends. Even if you're a Goober. Hmm? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I thought it looked cute, so why not? You don't think it's a weird combination? No, the skirt is good, but with this blouse. Good, I wasn't sure. I... Thanks. That's nice of you. I mean, I try, but I don't try that hard. It's just work, after all. Yeah, um... You look nice, too, by the way. I like your shoes. Yes, your shoes. Can't I like them? Okay, then. I do. They are good shoes. Your hair is good, too. Yep, very... looks good. Mm Mm-hmm. You know what? I should probably start packing up for the night. Yeah, I should. Got a big evening ahead of... Well, nothing, we established that, but I should get going all the same. How about you? You promised you wouldn't stay too late. Good. Start packing, Goober. I'm not going to let you sleep at the office tonight. Your own bed, of course. What did you think? That I was offering mine? (laughs) Uh, I should... yeah. Okay. Sorry, let me just get out of your way. I just... You smell good. How do you smell so good? And why did I just say that? Yikes. I'm sorry. I know we're friends and all, but I don't want it to be weird. No. Honestly, it's late, and I'm apparently coming down with blitherer's disease. Just ignore me, and I'll go away. What? No, I was kidding. I mean... I'll go away in the sense that I'll be going home now, just like you. Oh? What do you suggest? Because I am not staying here another minute. Hmm. That could be fun. Just down at that little place on the corner? Yeah, that's a good spot. I like it. Okay. One drink. 
just one, and then I'm going home. I'm loopy enough as it is. Any more than one drink and I'll be asleep on your shoulder. Yeah, I'd say that's a bad thing. Definitely unprofessional. Well, no, not everything has to be. Me calling you Goober certainly isn't, but still. Um, thanks. I guess that's fair, since I said you smell good. No, it's the same scent I always wear. Maybe you're just now noticing it. Yeah? Do tell. What else are you noticing? Oh. Um. Thanks? No, actually you're not. I'm not at all uncomfortable, it's just... Are you... What are you... Do you want to? Then... Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd like that. Okay. I was loopy before, but now... Can I ask you something? Why did you want to do that now? No, but why now? Huh. I guess that makes sense. Of course I've thought about it. I like you a lot. We click really well, but, you know, work. Are we even allowed to... Okay, that's good to know. I just... That was very good. The kiss, you goobert. Jeez, you know what? Keep it up and that'll be the last kiss. Oh, I'm serious. <laughs> hey, definitely no tickling. Now it'll be my turn for the HR complaint. <laughs> Fine, whatever. <sighs> hmm. So, are we going for that drink or not? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what to think of this at all, frankly. My brain is something like Swiss cheese at the moment. But do we need to have it all figured out right this second? How about this? I know that I like you. A lot. I like working with you. I like being your friend. And now, I like kissing you. So let's go have that drink and then... Yeah. One step at a time. Let's see what happens next. But first, we need to get the hell out of the office. Ugh, the night is young, and the work can wait till tomorrow. Come on, sweetness. What? You prefer goober? Huh. Well, that's just too bad.